Ignition coils are high voltage transformers used by every gasoline engine on the planet. These coils are part of a bigger system partly invented by Nikola Tesla. Designed for continuous operation, they regularly output at least 15,000 volts. Hey, my name's Jay and you're watching Plasma Channel. Now, recently a friend of mine was working on the ignition system of his old Subaru. He was gonna toss out the ignition coil, this guy right here, and I said, no! <laughs> I'll take that, and after just a little bit of experimentation, I found this coil in particular. The way it's designed, whew, boy, it's, uh, it's designed to be overpowered and make some massive sparks. So this is the 50,000 volt Subaru Outback power source. To start out, when I received this ignition coil, uh, it needed a little bit of work because for those who don't know, modern ignition coils tend to come with internal circuitry. For an experimenter like myself, that's basically the devil. It's completely pointless, makes the whole device useless. Well, um, my solution to that was a little bit of guesswork, a little bit of reading, mostly guesswork. I took a hacksaw to half of it and cut off the end of the ignition coil. Well, this component right here held all of the internal circuitry. Don't need that anymore or my window apparently. But ultimately this exposed three wires which I then added connections to and one of the wires is a shared connection. It's a shared connection between two separate identical transformers. Okay, so that's a big deal for somebody like me. A shared middle connection between the primaries of two identical high voltage transformers side by side. That allows you to power those transformers in two completely different ways. One of those ways produces an insane amount of voltage, the other produces an insane amount of current. Now both these different types of power, so to speak, it's more than the coils are designed to handle, but powering them this way actually doesn't hurt the coils. The first method for driving this ignition coil is the decades old 555 timer circuit. While it's not known for producing particularly hot arcs, it does produce high voltages. And since this coil consists of two separate transformers, we can run it in what's called anti-parallel configuration, producing double the normal voltage out. This brings us to our second method, which is to use a ZVS driver. These create super high frequency AC signals, which then usually create super hot arcs. Okay, without further ado, let's see if Subaru's about more than just love. Did you see that plasma? I feel like the results kind of speak for themselves. That was 40 or 50,000 volts coming out of a Subaru ignition coil. And the high voltage coming out of this, it's actually really useful because it's AC high voltage. So you can do a bunch of stuff like power a voltage multiplier or put a diode on the output and power a Tesla coil. You can power a plasma globe with this type of electricity. And this guy in particular will be the power source for two upcoming episodes. One of them will be a build of the largest voltage multiplier that I might ever build. It'll have a calculated output voltage of 1.2 million volts DC. And the second video that'll involve this guy is actually custom selected by one of my Patreon supporters. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.